Hi everyone, I want to show you today a really good way of creating living photos using iMovie. So let me show you what a living photo is. So if I just play this, you can see here that the water here is frozen but everything around it is actually moving. So that's what we want to do within iMovie. Now this is very easy in Final Cut and there are applications out there that will do this for you but they're quite expensive and uh, I wanted to show you a way of doing this for free. Now it's not perfect because you can see here there's a bit of a line here um, but you could create some really good effects doing this. Okay so how do we do this? So let's create a project. I'm going to create a movie. Now the first thing I need to do is import my media which I've done already. Now I've got it in this event here. The first thing I need to do is capture my still image. The image that I want to actually freeze in the frame. I'm going to play this video here. All right. And then find a frozen frame. But I need to play it full screen. And as soon as I find a moment. So let's move this along. I'm going to mo find a moment. I'm going to use the arrow keys to just go frame by frame. Let's take that one there. Okay, so now I just need to make sure that this part is missing. And then I'm going to do a screen capture. Now on a Mac, it's Command, Shift, and 3. And that's taken a screen capture of my image there. Now let's come out of that. Now what I need to do is I need to go and open Keynote. So I'm going to go to Keynote here. Here's Keynote. So start a new Keynote and give it a white background. And you need to make sure that it's wide. So let's choose that and view and let's zoom out and zoom to fit. And we just want to zoom out a little bit further. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a board about around there. Now let's get rid of these text boxes. We don't need them. And now what I need to do is I need to find that screen capture and then import it in. So uh, it's this one here and let's bring that in here. Now we just got to move this in exactly the right place. Now you can see here, the actual picture's got to fill this whole white area here because that's our widescreen format for the movie. So I need to expand this, but it needs to be pretty accurate. So I'm just gonna expand this and I can use now the arrow keys to move things around. So let's just, uh, I'm gonna use the arrow keys to go left. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now our picture is filling the whole screen. Now what I need to do is I need to mask this because I only want this section actually frozen. I don't want this section and I don't want the candle frozen, frozen either. So I'm going to use the mask tool, which is here. Now if you can't see the mask tool, what you can do is go to the customize toolbar here and then find the mask from this and then just drag that in. Okay, I have it already, so I don't need to do that. So I'm going to click on the picture. So let's click on mask. And let's just mask the part of the picture that we want to freeze. So I'm just going to drag these up to about here. Drag this along to about here. Okay, so this part of the picture is moving. The candle is moving. But the water falling is the bit that I want frozen. Okay, so now we can press return. And there is our mask. Now also what we need to do is we need to change the white background to green. So we, you're going to use green screen in iMovie. All right, so let's choose a green. I'd suggest a light green. Um, what you might want to be a, careful of, if you have green in your picture, then this may not work as effectively as you'd like. So you may need to use a blue if you've got green in your picture. Okay, so now what we need to do is go to File and export this as an image. So I'm going to take that. A high quality image let's go to next and I'm going to save it in my pictures folder and I'm going to call this living picture export okay so we don't need keynote anymore so we can close keynote down um, you can save it if you want to and now let's go back to iMovie so here's our project I'm going to bring this video in and before we even start what I just want to do is trim off the bits that I don't need so I want it to start when the water starts flowing. So about here. So I'm going to right click and split my clip there and just get rid of that bit and then move it to the end. And then we can split the clip there 
and get rid of that bit. Now what I need to do is just import my picture. So let's go to File, Import Media, and I need to go to my Pictures folder. There's my living picture, and there's the image that I want. So let's import that, and there's my image. Now let's drag that over the top. Make it the full length. So at the moment you can see there's a Ken Burns effect on that. So let's turn the Ken Burns off and we need to click this here to do that and then we just click fit. And now that turns that Ken Burns effect off. And now what we need to do is click on the video overlay and turn that into green screen. And now we have a living photograph. Very simple stuff. I mean, there's a few bits and pieces there that you need to do with Keynote, etc. But to create a living photograph for free, I think it's a really effective way of doing it. Now, all, all you need to do next is go and share that. So I'm going to share it as a file. And you can change the resolution if you want to. I'm going to keep it at 720p. Next, change the title, put it in my movies folder and then save. So when that's built, we can take a look at it. Let's show. There's my living picture. It's going to open up in QuickTime. And there we go. A nice living picture. It's not perfect because we can see the lines here. But for a free way of doing it, it's pretty good. So that's creating living pictures on iMovie. Please use the comments below in the YouTube comments to tell me what you've been doing with this kind of thing. I'd love to see your your living photos and how you've used this. In addition, if you have Final Cut Pro, then click the link in the middle of the screen for a much more comprehensive way of actually doing this to get much more professional living photos.